ladies and gentlemen, it's early morning. It's it's before seven o'clock, and we've got the SDA heading out. Members of the SDA, we got Wavy Davy, Too Many Rides, June 9th ride. We're on our way to Airport Flat. We're just doing an SDA adventure for the day. We're all loaded up and ready to hit the freeway. So we'll see you down the road. Things are looking good. Try to talk them into Just Do this one first. Whoa! Son of a bitch! <laughs> you didn't you didn't warn anybody, did you? No. Did I? Did it seem like I warned you? Oh, well, you're gonna be so proud. Hey, it's been one year! Seven days. Yes! 2.30. Mad at him. Ready? $230 boring kit to re-sleeve. Okay, we should be up and going on all machines. There's Wavy Davey, he's a fellow SDA member. Today we're riding Nikki. That's a 1995 XR600R. It's got components from other bikes on it. All changed over to red plastics. We've got Wavy Davy behind us. I don't know if you can see him in the camera, but he's there. South Fork of the Rubicon. Okay. We're just starting off today's adventures with this trail down to the South Fork. I believe this turns into a single track trail. I've got too much air in my tires, I forgot to let air out. I can feel it now. Didn't feel it, didn't think about it while on pavement, but I sure feel it.
that was a road. But I believe we need to go straight on out here, at least for a while longer. So, off to my right here is the Rubicon River Drainage Canyon, which all burned a few years back. We're at the 6,500 elevation. So the thing is, uh, you know, we're on two track right now, but at the end of the two track, it begins single track and takes you all the way down to the river. If you can cross the river, you can go up the other side and go right or left on a hunter's trail or up the mountainside on and connect to a road on the other side. And so right now, I don't know my way, which way we're going or what's up with what. But we hope to find out soon enough. Trail 13 and 76. I think that's the right way. I might have been on this route 25 years ago, once. Too much air in my tires makes things uh, tough. I have almost street pressure and we're not on the street anymore.
what's wrong with me, but something's, I'm hurt. Yeah. Like, this is bad. And so, I'm not my normal stuff. Yeah. One. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we came down this road, which has some trees in the way. We just stopped and took a look at the map. It's not the road that I wanted to go on anyway. Our current search is to find the trailhead down to the Rubicon. I'd like to find it. Ah, it goes all the way to the river. Yeah. And crosses it. There's not a bridge. There's not anything but river stones. So, I've never actually done that. But I've been down there before. 5.7 miles so far, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Dave had a gauge, so I felt comfortable about lowering tire pressure. I should feel a lot better now. I can feel how the day's already warming up. We're probably at around 10.30, 10 o'clock. And I'm glad I didn't put on a long sleeve shirt under this coat. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on Nikki today and it feels so good. I got just the right gearing on this thing. However, I'm a little bit hampered with the amount of gear I'm bringing along here. Um, I've got my Malcolm Smith tool belt and I'm, uh, you know, a fanny pack sort of thing. And I currently have it here in front of my stomach which kind of hampers my seating location but it looks like we're doing okay that's we're doing this in third gear Okay, now we're up on the top and see that canyon there? We got to get over on the other hillside. Uh, the road we want to take traverses that canyon. So once again, the goal is to take this one road which they're designating as uh, N77 and get to the end of it where it becomes single track. And I'm not intending to go down to the river on it, but I want to I want to find it, see where it is and know about it. I suspect this is it here.
they are not coming along yet. From the sounds in the distance, I think that those guys stopped back at that right-hand turn, which were not taken. So there's something screwy going on. You wouldn't think that they took a wrong turn as we just looked at it on the map. There you go, there's Nikki. We're on an adventure today. Looking good. We'll have to go back. Where did those guys go? go all the way back until we find him on this road. If ever you get lost from your buddies, you gotta go back to the last place you saw them. And uh, that's what I'm doing. Last place I saw him was when we took off after that last stop. I can't imagine what could be going on at this point. They're supposed to follow me. They're not here. So they must have taken that route. And now I gotta try to catch up to them from behind. So where does this road go? Is that as far? That's the log right there. 
Oh, that's the one you're talking about. Well, that's, a, that's another, that's a different one, but same, same circumstance. Can't get by it. No. Why'd you go up this road? Because we didn't know where you were at. I showed you on the map where well, we're going. I, hey, stop at the, when the road comes to a tee, stop, make eye contact with the next person behind you. That's, uh, square one of trail riding with your friends. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, follow me. All right, I'll stop at the, the... You don't turn unless I'm waiting for you. You take the main route. I can't stop at every offshoot just because it looks like it might be a road. Only turn if I'm there waiting. If somebody's saying, yeah, this is the way. Okay. Otherwise, you, you got to take... Stay on the main road. The logistical main road. Rule number two. on the right track. Oh, this all got burned, but there's little pockets that didn't burn. It is so nice to be able to do this in second gear just plod along slowly and not have to do it in first. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, here we go again. Okay, left hand turn right up ahead. And we're trying to get over to, what is it, 13N77. So, just so that all you people watching this on YouTube understand, we're having to go back out to the pavement. Turn left, go up the road, one more turn off and turn left on that. That should be 13 and 77. Oh, this is nice through here. I bet you it was really cool before it all burned. But that was just four or five years ago and it's already starting to look decent again.
So here we're looking for a road that turns left. It looks like we found it. And we're hoping this is 77. I think that's it. It's got a gate and the gate's open. Okay. We'll see how far we can go on this one. Regardless of the number, it was the very next road. And if nobody's cleared it yet, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with it. Yeah. Mile after mile, it looks like. Yeah, if it's not a road that people have been down and cleared it, then I don't want to mess with it. We get past that, there's another one. Right. I've got some things I want to reset, so I'm just going back to camp for now. We'll see you there. You know the way. Okay, we're, we're heading for camp. I think I need a new gasket where the muffler meets the header. Ladies and gentlemen, this bike feels great. Fifty, fifty-five miles an hour, and you're in high gear. Made it!